YouTubers, welcome back to our channel, We're the Couch Potatoes, where we sit down and review movies that we think are interesting and want you guys to see. Okay, and I hate that. No, 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 no. We're going to redo this. Take two. two. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take, right, take three. three. Yep. Here we go. Ugh. Stop eating. <laughs> hey tubers, welcome back to our channel. We're the couch potatoes. <laughs> and we are going. Are going. That was and fine. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. Here, here, hold on. Okay. Let, let, okay. let me do this. Let me let me do this. Okay. Hey tubers, welcome back to the couch potatoes where we review movies and shows that we find interesting. Um, we are now on season one, episode twelve of Violet Evergarden. One of the most depressing things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, that being said, <laughs> uh, if you if you made it this far, thank you for sticking this out with us and watching this whole review of this series. It has been a trip. Um, a real one. Yeah. So make sure you like, follow, subscribe, as well as supporting the official release. Yes, yes. Um, so far yes. it is on Netflix yes. if you want to check it out there. But for now, oh, we're getting in. Yeah. But for now, we are getting into episode 12. The final episode. Because Yay. remember, we are not doing the OVAs or the movies this run. Yeah, let's get started. All right. I think I did a good job. Yeah, yeah, you did wonderful. I don't know why I couldn't do it this time. No clue. The title. What's the title? No more rebels who escaped. What was the title? I forget what the title of this one is. Here's substance gore. No, that's uh, just no, that's just content warnings. Oh. And so, I'm going to make yeah. your Can you bring those cookies? Naval yes. Captain Deep Free Booming the I should really oh boy. put my He's back. Demetrius Rebel. Really I would just like to make sure that you're prepared for any other. You know what's going That's to, you know what's going to stink? Huh? You remember my prediction about how people were talking about Violet? Yeah. And you remember my prediction of how I said she's going to die? Mm -hmm. You think she's going to kill her? Either that or Crossfire. Or what? Oh, Crossfire. Because they said that the Station dolls as a symbol of peace are dealt with the peace. <laughs> Fair enough. But like I said, maybe all these are recounts. Right. Because we're hearing about people oh, talking yeah. about her at the end. Uh, Almost every episode had someone be like, Then I met Violet at Regarded. So it should be like their letter to her. Her like eulogy. Pretty much. She's going to the field again. Oh, this is a continuation of yeah. So he yeah. has them drop her off at Lyman. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much just. Uh, Put my co workers on that tree. Please do us. She can make a whole bunch of people. The peace envoy is aboard a special train that left from history, and Isidore succeeded in infiltrating. We will attack the train and destroy these peace talks. And then we will take over the world! <laughs> <laughs> I think Violet got on the train. Yeah, she thinks so either. It took nope. years to build that tunnel. There's no reason to get mad. It's not like anybody would mourn his death anyway. <laughs> Thank you for not going. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wouldn't kill. Yeah. Oh, he's 
No? I think there is another episode. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, sorry. Whoops, my bad. I did forget there were 13 episodes, not 12. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the, Are you sure could... there's only 13? We can well, double here's check. The thing. Here's the thing. I'm sorry, it's... you guys, but I'm not ending on that. I'm, not... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ending on that either. We're continuing this. <laughs> right. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I wanted to do something we haven't done before. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to hold off our rating this episode until we finish on episode 13. That works. Yes. That works. Yes. That's what we're doing. Yep. So we'll see you guys in a moment. Roll yes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. But let me go. pause real quick just so it doesn't get too long. Okay. So we have an easier time. Okay. Hmm. All right. Anyway, episode 13, because I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to throw it off on this madness. Yes. All right.
I know what I love you means. This is a disturbance of the force. <laughs> Somebody she recognizes. Yeah. Pause. And that's it. That's the end. Was it the dude with the daughter? Oh, 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 and oh my gosh, we've got a lot to share. Yes. There was a lot to unpack in this. Yes, a whole lot. <laughs> so we're, we're going to be talking about both episodes 12 and 13 in this part of the review. Because someone yes. can't figure out how to count Oopsie. <laughs> well, not just that, but you honestly couldn't review 12 by itself. I yeah, mean, that, that's it, true. Yeah, they had to be combined. Yeah. Because, oh my word. It, yes. Anyway. Uh, where do I begin? Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, let's see. For episode 12, I would have to give it a 9, especially for the ending of how it, of how it right. ended. It right. was just on the edge of your seat, clip anger of mm -hmm. what's going to happen next. And I'm sorry, me personally, I could not wait to see how that turned out. <laughs> I had so many thoughts running through my head with episode 12. Episode 13 picks up right after episode 12 left off. It does. Yes, it um, does. And it was just, wow. Yeah. Just wow. Just wow. Um, episode 10, I would have to give a 10 out of 10, honestly, because... 13? Or, yeah. Episode 13 is 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, and a couple of things I've noticed, I've no, noticed when watching both back-to-back -back is we talked in the previous review, which was episode 11, about how she's become more human able to express herself um whereas compared to earlier in the series when she was a doll a robot, robot. Mm -hmm. so this came this feels like it finally came full circle to where she's now learned how to be human she's learned a whole lot of things um i'm kind of glad and disappointed that my prediction didn't come true about <laughs> that being a eulogy of her dying it looked like she was about to but then she wasn't and just Wow. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. I agree. Johnny, what are your what's your take? Oh, the last episode I don't know. It's just <laughs> I'm just wondering if we needed all of that episode. I'm not mm. sure. Mm. You don't think so? I mean, yeah. I honestly think that that final episode tied it up in a nice neat bow as well. Mm. Yes. I mean, you know, going backwards to what was it nine that we enjoyed so much yes that tied it up in a nice bow for you but i think she got closure in the end and like decent yes. i think that she definitely grew and yeah episode 12 was already like oh my goodness and it was enjoyable but then when they piled on episode 13 first of all i agree mm -hmm. episode 12 you couldn't you can't take a break between 12 and 13 <laughs> you really can't I mean, it's almost like it's just an extended episode. You have to watch both, I, I think. But, and, and I agree, I would say 12, I'd give it a 9. And, and then definitely 13 was a 10. I did think that it tied the entire, to me, the entire series. Like we said yeah. about back about yeah. 9, they could end it here and not do any others. And I would be satisfied that yeah. I learned what I need to learn about Violet Evergarden. Now, if they do it uh, season two, that's fine. But I really think they could leave it here. She definitely grew as a person or became a person. We finally started, to me, to understand what she was about, what happened to her, why it happened, how it happened, and the whole nine yards. I mean, they're going to do another season. Probably, for me, I would just want to know more about her background. 
Hmm. Where did she come from before the major got her? And so, what was her training like? Right, and what was her training like? But other than that, I think that for me, this last one was satisfied hmm. and tied it up. You didn't give a score. What would you give the scores hmm. for 12 and 13? Eight. For both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, 12 and 13 are very different. Like, especially because like, you kind of get like slight little hints here and there starting, I think, around like 10 ish. Um, that, you know, things are going to start you know, like picking up, and then they do. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. And also, um, I like the small little details as well. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, um, the fact that she wore the outfit that she first wore in episode one when she went to go and meet the Major's brother. That yeah. was a nice detail. Um, that was a nice detail. Yeah. yeah. Once again, referring to the one I said, everything like, came yeah. full circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, everything came full circle. It's kind of, you know, like very much just, you know, like it. Episode 9 is emotionally satisfying. I feel like episode 13 is, I guess, just kind of like plot satisfying yeah. in a way. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah, because that ties up a, a, a few more loose ends than what episode 9 did. Yes, I would agree with that. And then I would also give episode 12 and 9 and episode 13 a 10 as well. Okay. Anybody catch that throughout the whole series, Violet usually clenches her hands like before she does that? The Major did that. When she was when he was yelling at her. Oh, oh, I totally missed that. I missed that too. Wow, but now that you say it, yes, yeah, that's true. He sure did, and the same thing. They focused on his hands yes. when he was yelling mm -hmm. at her. And wow. also, I like like because um because I know we've like seen like a uh, uh, bits and pieces of that scene before mm -hmm. of because I just um, we must have seen just like that like last part of. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk later. Um, we'll talk later about this. We have to go into battle later. And then they also brought that back again to finally see the full context of what that was. Right. And yeah. the fact that, too, that, you know, the major's like, oh, yeah, I did terrible things to you. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> this is true. This is true. So, overall, what is your assessment of this entire series, season one? What would you score the entire season? Uh, uh, I would say this this is an eight this is a very good show mm -hmm. um very beautifully done um just and it's and it's just like this really interesting tale about grief and loss and emotions and all the things that come with it and it's it's really interesting and I <laughs> the thing is like I'm not 100% sure if I would recommend it to everyone just because it's so emotionally heavy. You do have to be in a mood for it. Mm -hmm. um, or you have to trick someone <laughs> into it. <laughs> but it, but it, it, it's a really good story. And I, I mean, if, if, if you feel like you, you want to watch something and cry and, you know, just, just depressing. <laughs> just, you you know, wonder a lot what you just watched. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, would you, oh Brent, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm right, sorry. But I mean, but yeah, if, 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 if you feel like you, 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 you can handle like things like, you know, like, like themes of, of war and emotion and loss, then yeah, I would, I, 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 I would give it, I, I would give it a watch. It's, it's really good. It's, and of course it, it, it's breathtaking. Kyoto Animation does a fabulous job with it. Yes. D. I would have to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, it's, it is a good story. It is great animation. Uh, the character growth and the, well, the character growth was great. Um, it is a lot to take in, and there are tons of moments that are, I said throughout this review, are <laughs> depressing and sad, but taking a go with the bed, it is a nice watch. Um, I do recommend it on some level, just be prepared for those <laughs> moments, I say. Uh, it's that... I'm, 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 I'm laughing at the tags that they gave the, the OVA special, which is um, like heartfelt, emotional, and feel good. <laughs> I'm so glad this series is somewhat lacking of. Um, anyway, I'm sure we're going to edit that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good series, and I did, and 
enjoy it when it really picked up. And I did love the action. The action was great. Mm -hmm. The conflict was great. That was one more thing that I did not address for episode 13 mm -hmm. and 12. Was remember how I said that I want to see the conflict, I want to see uh, her. Oh, yeah, the consequences yeah. of her. Yeah, yeah you right. finally so we got it. Yeah, we finally <laughs> get <laughs> Yeah, we finally get the consequences of her actions. We finally get not only that, but in a way, the forgiveness that mm. she, I feel like she was indirectly seeking. Yes, yes that's true. I um, agree with that. So it, it is a good watch, and I do recommend it. Just like I said, be prepared for the sorrow. It, it's <laughs> sad. It's sad, but I it, yeah. Watch. yeah. That, I say the show grows on you, mm -hmm. and then you wonder why you're watching it, <laughs> but you can't stop. <laughs> yeah. So I'm giving an eight, I guess, mm -hmm. for that, because it does suck you in. Mm. I'd give it an 8 as well, so I guess as the potato, we're giving this an 8. Yeah. I do, I would recommend it. I think it was a great show. It's a little slow in the beginning. Yes, Very it is. small in the beginning, <laughs> but it does suck you in, it pulls you in, and once again, I echo everything everyone mm -hmm. said. Great um, storytelling, great character development. It is beautifully... Uh, it, it's a wonderful, beautiful piece of art. It is beautifully animated. Um, the flow of the story, it, you know, it, it keeps you going, keeps you coming back, and things of that nature. Even though I think I said in the first episode that it had nothing for me, hmm. had no meat and potatoes, <laughs> didn't pique my curiosity, but trust me, that turns around. So I do recommend watching it. I'm giving it an 8 because while it was a wonderful show and I totally enjoyed it, I don't know that it's one that I feel like, ooh, I gotta watch that again. Mm. I kind agree of with thing. that. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I, I was gonna ask you guys, like, like if you were to rate it on like rewatchability, like, would, it, would, would you be willing to watch it? I, I've watched this twice no, already. I, but, I, Honestly, I cannot watch it again mm -hmm. only because, like I said, like we said, it's slow. It picks up. When it picks up, it does get good. It it's does slow really good. at yes. the very beginning. And honestly, I don't want to sit there and rewatch something that's that depressing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I keep harping. I keep harping on this series because it is depressing. I mm -hmm. get it. It right. does. With, it deals with heavy things. Mm -hmm. it but does. it does. And I, but it, yeah. it is good though. Don't. Don't be discouraged. I would recommend watching it. Like I said, I wouldn't watch this season again. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I would want to go back and rewatch this season. But, but, but I tell you, you what, if there's a episode, more. right, if there's a season two, remember by the Garden the movie, not on not, I'm not that, talking about the movie. Okay. I'm talking about if there were a season two. I don't think that I would strongly object to watching mm -hmm. a season two. Well, remember the, the movie. That. The movie continues on the plot of the light novel. That's why I'm saying that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, right. so essentially, if if you want more of the story, then that would be it's just Violet Evergarden the movie. There's two movies. Auto. Um, what is it? It's um. It's something on the Auto Memories doll. Um, maybe we'll have like on screen or something. Yeah, um, we can link the link below. Yeah, the yeah, yeah or that is a standalone. It, it's its own thing. It's its own standalone thing that doesn't, um, that th I believe isn't a part of the original light novel's plot, but Violet Evergarden, the movie, does actually continue the plot. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say that it's also on Netflix. I know the first movie's on Netflix. I'm not entirely sure about the second one, though. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if either, I'm assuming that because you can buy the first movie physically, that one is dubbed. I don't know about the other one. So, okay. it, so if, if you are a dubbed over sub person, do be aware of that. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, but we are all in agreement though that this one from the couch potatoes gets an eight. Yes. And it gets a recommendation that you could watch. Yes. Anyway, tell us what you think. Comment down below. Help us with the algorithm. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more series and movies that we will be reviewing. Oh, and our next pick, I believe, is that. Yes. 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 Do you want to? Do you no. want to give us? The, do you want to give us like a hint or anything no. about what it is? No.
Tune in. That makes me scared. (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, this is what you get for suffering us in like this. That is true. (laughs) (laughs) You're glad you watched it, right? Yes. 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 It was a good experience. Anyway, (laughs) till next time. Spuds out. Bye. Bye.